Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy E-Bike Guy and welcome back to the channel and everything. And so as you see here, this is my 8,000 watt e-bike that I recently built not too long ago. And some minor set bikes to it. Um, it's going to be dead for a while, you know. Uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, ride it for a while until I get a uh, new controller for it. Uh, apparently my controller uh just bite the dust on me and i i guess the, you could say it's my fault um what i was planning on doing this morning is i took it off the rack as usual and i was going to configure the uh breaker here which was nothing wrong with the breaker so i had installed this here uh 300 amp breaker on 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 my e-bike and there was nothing wrong with it. Actually, it was tripped like that, cause I always um trip it when I, you know, go to charge and everything. So it's fully charged. I was gonna, I was gonna get ready to configure it. I was gonna just take it off. So I was gonna take this off, you know, and just run it from uh, the battery straight to the controller. That was my plan was today. Well, I should have just left it alone and kept it going. And so what happened was I was I was going on here and I messed around and I know what a I know what a positive lead was. It was it was located right here. I mean it was right here. So put my screwdriver now and I was about to turn it. And when I was going to turn it, I heard a loud pop. Boom. I was like, what the heck? So, I mean, the battery was unplugged. The breaker was tripped. Now, I know these controllers have um, energy stored in it. So, I was thinking that it that would happen that somehow I... T I don't know what I touched to, to have it like that. Because I'm looking up on here. And there was nothing I could touch with a number three Phillips screwdriver. And I had it right here. I don't know if I touched the controller with the positive, and I couldn't touch the phase wire. I don't know, but it will not come on no more. So I'm getting a 30H communication error, and the light will not come on. So no throttle, no nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the controller off see what's going on um i know i'm gonna be down for a while so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this battery and put it on my son's bike <sighs> so i'm gonna get the wire from back here and i'm going to and i'm going to uh get the screws out of the controller I'm going to get the battery out because that's going to go on my son's bike. And we're going to open this controller up and see what happened before, you know, I throw this controller away. But, so, let me uh, see what's going on with it. Alright, so I got my battery off right here. I got it hooked up. Got the circuit breaker hooked up and everything. Now, with these uh, with these controllers, you don't need, need the uh, UKC1 display or any display for that matter to turn a controller on. So use your controller, you would have come with one of these jumper wires. And what you do, you hook it up where the display usually hooks up at. And that will right there will turn the uh, controller on uh, straight away. So got the bike hanging back up. It's going to be there for a while. And um, yeah, let's see if um, the controller turns on. If it does, then maybe I can hook the Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth dongle up and see if I can program it. If not, then we're going to turn this on right quick and see what it says. So we're going to gonna trip that right there and we're gonna just plug that little that little jumper wire into the uh, slot where the uh, display goes at I heard a click so as you can see there is no green light so something had blew up in the controller so let's go ahead we're gonna take the controller out um, apart and see if any capacitors part of blue or maybe a, a MOSFET or a, uh, maybe the uh, 
there is a um, a power module that's in here. Now I turned it on with the display, so there's power going to the uh, display because I can turn the UKC one display on, and it turns on, but it has a 30H communication error, but the light doesn't come on. So. So we already know the control doesn't work. I mean, I knew that for a fact when I popped. So when I, I mean, that too, Dad. so when uh, what happened? She has your GoPro. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. My daughter had my GoPro. <laughs> so uh, back what I was saying, but I don't like I say I don't see. Like I say, I was taking the the positive wire off, and I didn't see where I touched on the controller. To where it'll be be a pop like that, and I know I couldn't touch the phase wire. I was That's on this nice. positive wire. I wasn't on the phase wire, and I don't know what what just happened though. So maybe I ground it out touching this bar. I don't know, but I guess we'll see what's going on with it though. No, yeah, I don't. No, no, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I took it apart and everything. I was looking for like a maybe a blown capacitor or or MOSFET, but nothing really stands out saying that. You know, that's something blue. So I'm looking at it. Everything looks good up on here. I don't see nothing burnt. Yeah, I really don't see nothing burnt. So, man, I don't know. Looking right here. Man, I don't know. But I know one thing. It's a lot of screws you got to take apart. You got to take all the MOSFET screws out. It's just about... Which about, um, let me see how many, it's like 10 on each, so it's 10, so it's about 30, so 16, 16 screws on each uh, side of these uh, capacitors right here that you have to, um, uh, take apart. Oh, that's crazy though, anyways, um, maybe I'm wrong about 16 screws, but anyways, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it, but I, I just, I guess I'm gonna cut my losses and everything, and put all that right there and I'm going to install this battery on my son's bike and everything I don't know what's going on I don't I miss controller been working for a while and I mean I don't know like say that's just plastic and like I said all I was doing was taking the um positive lead off and it just popped on me so I don't I, I mean I know I didn't touch nothing else I mean it's impossible because you know the separation on uh, little tabs right there that separate the the positive from the um, the phase wires and the negative and I don't know so anyways that's gonna be hanging out up for a while I'm probably gonna get an, I'm gonna build me another battery um, get another controller for it might do a far driver I have no idea but so there you go so I won't be no videos made uh, with this particular bike in general um, so if I don't upload upload no videos it'll be because you know I'm just Doing a lot of contemplating and a lot of thinking and a lot of saving up money. But in the meantime, I'm going to clean up this area. My daughter right there. Clean up this area and everything. And I just want to let you know that yes, my Sabaton controller has broken on me. And now I have to get either a replacement or or another controller. So I might try something new. Okay, that's it, y'all. Um this is the e-bike guy channel and i'll hopefully be uploading videos soon and i'll be i'll see y'all soon okay